Hello everyone, uh, this is part 18 of my Byzantium game of Civilization V. I, I am pretty much certain that a cultural victory is going to occur during this, this part. So this will almost certainly be the end of this particular game. I'm two civilizations away from uh, getting a uh, cultural victory. It's Poland and the Celts. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm going to get influential against Poland first. Uh, I'm up to 618 tourism per turn. I should note that that is without the effects of the international games. So, uh, oh, what are the, okay, yeah, that's fine either way. Um, okay, so I'm just sort of letting these uh, workers just do things here. I don't actually need them to. So in five turns, I'll have the, uh, the vote in there. Oh, I should plant the spy somewhere. Um, I forgot to do that. got the distinct impression that uh, Attila wants to invade, but I don't think he's going to. Uh, it's interesting that uh, since, I think, the second uh, World uh, Congress meeting, uh, I've actually been under embargo, so I haven't, nobody's been trading with me, uh, you know, trade routes. Uh, right. Uh, I've Okay, that's finished a factory there. What can, what am I looking for to build here? Uh, airport, I think. Um, right. Uh, oh, I've got a production finish somewhere else too. Uh, well, let's take a look. Well, research lab seems like an idea. I'm kind of picking randomly at this point because uh, I don't actually need the uh, uh, yeah there's nothing to build there I don't actually whoops uh, need to do anything in particular um, right I was going to plant a spy uh, maybe in Carthage um, unassigned move. Okay, so where I have one with the Celts, one Poland, so Carthage maybe, and I have with Ethiopia. Yeah, I'll go for Carthage. Uh, with all the spies out as diplomats, I gain extra. Uh, delegates at the uh, uh, United Nations which uh, allows me to uh, well basically come closer to that magic number and uh, now I don't think uh, I'm go it's going to even come down to a world leader vote uh, in this game uh, Now let's see. I'm going to finish Pentagon in seven turns. CN Tower in five. And Apollo Program in eight. So I have 620 tourism per turn here. I did make it to a size 50 city. Um, it looks like I'll make a size 51 city out of Constantinople before the game ends. Um, right. 
moving along. It might be fun to take the game this game after the victory and uh, I should have taken the declaration there don't uh, and actually see if I can successfully fight a war against Poland Poland has nukes so uh, that could be interesting but I have enough uranium I could build an army of giant death robots uh, which would be uh, quite uh, quite amusing. Um, there's really no point going to war at this point in the game uh, when a cultural victory is so close. Um, right. So, yeah, I'm not sure how this... Uh, tourism amount here uh, is uh, happening um, but Poland is influential and 20 turns for the Celts okay uh, okay so we have a vote here uh, right. If I want this to go through, I'm going to have to throw all my delegates at it. Because there's 28 nay. I don't care about this one, so I might as well... Um, this one would be cool, but it's probably going to pass anyway. So anyway, I'll commit my delegates there. Um, right. Uh, still need to maintain my trade. Um, got 133 surplus food, actually. That's quite impressive. Uh, right. Okay, so... No. Okay, so the ban on silver has uh, been removed. And next uh, vote is world leader in 30 turns. Uh, right, uh, so I built an airport there. How is tourism up to 890? I think there's a bug here. Um, Anyway, uh, right. Uh, okay, yeah, I need to manage that. Yeah, how does that work? What's the airport do? 50% of the culture from World Wonders, Natural Wonders, and Improvements is added to the tourism output of this city. It 
It doesn't say worked by this city for the... What? I am going to look up how tourism is calculated. Because 890? Or is there a bonus for being almost there? Uh, anyway, let me take a look in here. Uh, Celts. Going to be 11 turns at that pace. Or maybe it's the cult cultural heritage sites. Um, right, World Congress. Plus two culture from every great person tile improvement. Plus three culture from wonders. No, it still doesn't tally. Anyway. 800... I'm really going to need to look up how tourism is calculated because that doesn't tally. Uh, I, it's pretty clear it's the airports, but... Okay, we'll see what that tally does when the next airport comes up. Okay, that's a CN Tower. Uh, production where? Okay, there. Well, okay. And I can adopt a policy. Now, I could go for a policy, but I'm going to go for a level 3 tenant. Uh, I could go with media culture, and since I'm aiming for a cultural victory, that's probably what I should do. So I'll do that. Thousand and forty six. What? Why did these show up? Huh. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take a look here. Celts, eight turns. Um, right. I still need to look up the tourism calculation because I still think I've I've hit a bug in that calculation. Is how it doesn't make sense that it went up so much from that one one airport going up. Uh, right. I'll get a better read if I check it now. Falling? Okay. Uh, right. Celts. No, 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 no. Discuss. No. Trade. Okay, so that's open borders. 
Uh, now can I... No. Okay. Now, okay, so that gets me a 40%. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can do a declaration of friendship with the Celts next turn. Okay, that's Pentagon. Uh, right. Well, I'll put up a recycling center for lack of anything better to do. Uh, take a look in here again. And this is rising again, so four turns. So I'm not likely to see a size 53 city. Will the Apollo program complete, though? Uh, yeah, it should. Okay, so I've completed the Apollo program. Uh, right. Well, I'll put a recycling center there. Now we'll see what happens. Oh look, it's a great scientist. Okay, why not? Okay. Pretty good odds. I'm going to end up with a win real soon now. So I haven't bothered starting to build the spaceship stuff because even if I did play past a cultural victory, you can't actually assemble the spaceship uh, if you uh, have already won. Uh, right. So that's a Colosseum. Eh. There we go. Cultural victory. Uh, so, demographics. Poland was uh, in the lead on manufacturing. And crop yield.
Right. Okay. Ranking. Okay, I'm not going to go with the replay, but I am going to do just one more turn so we can take a look at where everything stands. Uh, so we'll take a look here. Everything's still rising culturally, if I was going to play further. Um, so you can see... Carthage, because I have the wrong ideology, is having some issues. Um, uh, let's see. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, settle all the stuff for this turn. There we go. And we'll just see, okay, so that's a win. Uh, someone was plotting against Attila. Uh, right. So that's the uh, cultural win. I didn't even max out the tech tree doing it. Um, I would have if I hadn't uh, done that expansionist wave there and with that war against Attila and uh, late and earlier, just the uh, late game expansion up into uh, this area here. But I'm pretty sure that served me well. Uh, from the perspective of tourism, and it certainly did for faith generation. Uh, it might be interesting to uh, play this uh, out uh, further and just see uh, how long it would take to actually conquer the entire planet. Especially uh, uh, once uh, you're at this point, you don't really care uh, if it takes you 150 turns to uh, to uh, manage to research uh, something or to get a social policy or what have you. Uh, of course, if you play long enough, you'll have all the social policies and all of the ideological tenets and everything. Uh, and then I don't know what the game does if you can't actually select something in those cases. It probably just keeps accumulating and, uh, you know, there you have it. Uh, or this number just gets ridiculously and probably large. Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to say. Um, but this doesn't actually give you any... Um, any clue about how the tourism is actually being calculated. Uh, so I'm going to actually uh, look that up and see if this... 1055 number here is actually right uh, it is what it should be or if one of the mods I have is messing with it somehow either way it's a really substantial number and uh, there is a massive boost in it uh, at one point I'm not sure why but that was right about when the when I had one um, uh, one civilization left to gain influential with so uh, it's hard to say uh, anyway uh, that's uh, pretty much the uh, end of the game I'm not going to play out more turns in this particular uh, game uh, I am going to save it though uh, in case uh, I do decide I want to uh, play it out but that is 1,346 turns to win, uh, which isn't too bad, actually, uh, for a uh, marathon uh, game pace. Um, uh, this is interesting, though. This is supposed to be Pangea, 
and yet there's this big island over here, uh, which shouldn't, that shouldn't be the case, but it's interesting anyway. Um, but you wouldn't have needed a, the, the, uh, to get through uh, ocean tiles to get there, so it wasn't too bad. And it looks like it was, well, half the city states were there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. One, two, three, four city states were there. Five city states? Yeah. Um, now, who was this? Ethiopia. Ethiopia started there by the look of it. So. No, they didn't. So nobody started there, so it wasn't a handicap. So that's that's good. It's interesting that over the course of the game, uh, four civilizations were conquered. Um, no, three were conquered, uh, disappeared. Um, and I think all three of them were eliminated by Poland. Two of them were. Uh, originally, um, let's see, uh, let's take a look at the victory, uh, progress screen. Domination. Um, I had two original capitals. Poland had one. Okay, yeah, Poland did take out. Poland had three other original capitals. I had one, so uh, there was that. Uh, I was the only one to make the Apollo program. Uh, uh, I only had 32 delegates, so it wasn't likely I was going to win a world leader proposal. Although I had enough gold, I could bribe enough city-states if I could make proper contact with them. Um... Yeah, Portugal was one of the ones that was eliminated. Uh, and uh, Arabia was one of the ones that was eliminated. So those two, it didn't matter if I was influential or not. Right. Okay. So that's the uh, status there. Uh, so uh, I hope the uh, game has been at least mildly entertaining for the uh, course of it here. Uh, and maybe it gives you some ideas on uh, playing the game yourself. Uh, most of the strategy I use here is effectively functional on uh, a stock version of the game, uh, with the exception of the coastal cities. Uh, coastal cities are not that great uh, if you don't have good land uh, around them uh, in the stock game, because coastal tiles just do not generate production uh, unless there's resources there, sea resources. So uh, that's the big difference that isn't uh, terribly uh, helpful uh, uh, in the stock. But otherwise, the, uh, the standard uh, tactics I'm using here will pretty much work uh, on... Uh, on other uh, uh, you know sets of mods and so on uh, okay so I'm just taking a look here yeah there wasn't uh, anything too particularly fancy going on there um, okay so uh, that's it for uh, for this game I, I hope you uh, enjoyed it somewhat I'm assuming if you watched through this far you did uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one of these uh, anytime soon, uh, like considering that uh, this was 18 parts to get here, and so was the previous one. Uh, that's 19 to 20 hours of my time uh, to make one of these uh, on uh, the marathon uh, speed, which is what I usually play the game at. Uh, 
I may make some more of them uh, uh, later on, uh, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, if you're interested in more of these, uh, let me know. Uh, I can certainly make more of them. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this one, so thank you for watching.